Good morning, YouTube. How's everyone doing this morning? Doing good? Cool. So, uh, what we are doing today is uh, heading up north. Gonna go do some fishing. Uh, what kind of fishing are we doing today? Well, I'll give you a couple hints. If you guessed channel catfish, then congratulations. That's what I'm going after today. <laughs> uh, there's a couple little small ponds. Well, not really small, but uh, ponds that are kind of connected to some of the bigger lakes up here that are stocked with channel cats. I've never actually caught a channel cat. <clears throat> so, uh, got a couple, couple rig setups that I'm gonna go and use for those three different baits that I'm gonna try out and see if we can catch a freaking channel cat. Then I also brought a couple little crank baits because there's small mouth in there. So uh, once we finish fishing for channels for a little bit, we'll switch over and try and see if we can get a small mouth because I wanna catch something today, dang it. <laughs> so here I'll uh, kinda show you guys what I'm gonna be using today. Chicken breast that's been sitting in sardine cure all night. Oh. oh, that's potent. Chicken livers. And if none of those other options work, <clears throat> we're gonna bust out the big guns. Night crawlers. All right, so that's what's on the agenda for the day. Heading up north, gonna catch some channel catfish. And hopefully some smallmouth. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Appreciate everybody that has so far. Go ahead and ride with us today. It's going to be fun. Swafford Pond, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're at today. Uh, we are predominantly going after channel catfish. I am just got here, gonna try to uh, get the pole out here as fast as I can. I'm just gonna run through, show you what my setup is right now, um, what we're throwing out first. So, I'll set the camera right here. So, 
we're gonna try the uh, nice big chunk of chicken breast that's been marinating in some sardine oil pretty much all night so smells really really stinky which that's what you want to do with these catfish the stinkier the better so I've got a number five hook here nice big hook that'll focus probably won't we're gonna find a substantial chunk of chicken here about like that what a nice big piece of bait just cuz we're going for a big fish Not a little fish we're going for a big fish Just like that. Oh man, this stuff is stinky. <clears throat> so we're running smelly chicken breasts. Got about a 18, 20 inch liter, 20 pound mono. The three ounce slider. And barrel swivel so the key is to fish off the bottom um, that's where these catfish are they're on the bottom so let's get our wine our let's get our lines wet and see what we can get to the bank We've been into it for about an hour so far. I've changed baits twice now. Still using the chicken, the cured chicken bait. Let's see if uh, see if that's that does the trick. Still got some night crawlers, so just gonna kind of move on through the baits, and then uh, as soon as we're done, kind of fishing for the cats, we're gonna switch over, uh, throw on a crank bait, and try and see if I can get some of these smallmouth that I. I've seen, gosh, probably six of them so far, just right on the surface swimming around here. So give it a couple more minutes, reel up, switch baits, and keep on fishing. Chicken livers. <laughs> Apparently I didn't put that one on tight enough. Alright, well, the liver has been soaking for about 20 minutes so far. No luck yet. Uh, about to make an executive decision here and switch uh, to the crankbait and start going after these bass. I've seen three or four of them now that have just kind of breached the surface right here, not far off the bank. So, gonna give it about five more minutes with the, uh, the liver that we have out right now. And then we're going to switch to the crankbait and get after these bass a little bit.
All right, well, we're about 45 minutes in using the crankbait and a couple divers and stuff, just kind of trying a little bit of everything to see uh, what, uh, what gets these fish to bite. I've never really caught bass before, as you can you know probably tell from last week's video. Um, yeah, so my, my whole bass fishing skill skill set is pretty uh, pretty much non-existent. So I'm gonna probably switch over back over to uh, to bait. I haven't used any night crawlers yet, so I'd like to use some of those and see if we can get anything to bite out here. Not real confident now, but uh, you know, it's still, it's still morning time, so we will uh, get some night crawlers on a hook, just go the old traditional route and see if we can get something to bite. Also, another uh, cool little little tidbit when you're uh, when you're fishing on these lakes, a lot of times, especially in the summer. Um, gets really warm obviously it's summertime gets really warm uh, but then a lot of the bugs come out too. get lots of mosquitoes lots of little gnats lots of just little annoying bugs so you know if you're ever looking for something that uh, not only is gonna keep the Sun out of your eyes but it's also gonna keep the bugs out of your face too we'll look no further works even better than uh, than bug spray so yeah pretty much just uh, just goes on like this so you know it's barely noticeable um, it's green so it, it's you know it's really fashionable it goes with about anything I've gotten several compliments compliments on it this morning and I'm pretty sure they're all genuine because I mean look at this thing <laughs> you got your hat keep the Sun out of your eyes you got this just plush little net right in front of your face that keeps all the bugs away so we're gonna we're just gonna keep on keep on doing what we do see if we can uh, get a catfish to the bank <laughs> let's go pretty simple setup this go around a couple split shot barrel swivel about 18 inches a liter and a worm let's see if we can get one fishing this place all together for about four hours now four hours straight um, I've tried out several different methods several different bait setups and you just just can't get anything to come in um, it's kind of just the way it goes sometimes one thing that we do here is we we just show you you know everything that that really happens to us so if we don't catch any fish you don't see us catch any fish so probably just gonna chill here another five minutes or so and reel her on up call her a day uh, definitely appreciate everybody that uh, liked shared followed any of these videos that we make um, yeah so I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and call it don't forget to smash that subscribe button whenever you guys get the chance and keep following along with us. This definitely, uh, this is not the end of catfishing. I'm thinking I'm um, going to definitely try to get up here at least one more time this summer and uh, maybe do some night night fishing for catfish because I've, I've actually heard that that is the best time to come out and, and go for them. So. At least we found a, a pretty good spot. I'd say uh, there's definitely catfish in here, but uh, we just couldn't get any for us today. So until next time, like, share, follow, subscribe. This is Code with Branched Outdoors. See you later.